Hi, my name's Isabel, and I'm going to tell you how I got my French Bulldog. So it was morning, so it was morning, and my mom said, get up, we're going somewhere. And I said, where are we going? She said, we're going to the pet shop. I was so excited. I really wanted to see what we were getting at the pet shop. So when we got to the pet shop, I saw all these type of different dogs. It was so and they're all be taken by the new owners. They all had the names. One was Rosie. One was one was Olivia. And one was my favorite of all, Luigi. It's a boy name for short for Luigi. It's Luigi in Spanish. Luigi. So when I walked in to the pet store, I I was amazed by all these different pets. I saw this iguana. <laughs> and I was just like, whoa. So when I saw all these type of dogs, I saw this one little French bulldog. So we took him into this little kennel thing and we started petting him. My mom said we could get him and we got him. So we went home and I, so I, and I went into bed. My mom says we're going to be going back to Utah for the summer. So... So as we were driving, it started to rain, and I opened up the window, and all the spring came into the car when we were going to Utah. So when we got to Utah, um, it was summer, and it was really hot. I said to my mom, can we go swimming at the community pool? She said, sure. So my sister dove in first, and so I jumped down, and I splashed. I splashed my mom when she was by the pool. So it was the next day and we went to the dog park and I saw all these tiny different dogs. I found this golden shepherd that kept on coming up to me and I petted it and it really liked it. And we went into the little um, puppy section and I saw thousands of French bulldogs and my dog loved it. So when we Park. Um, I said, I want to go there next Saturday. You see, my mom said we could go every Saturday, and we went there every Saturday. I was really happy that I came back to Utah for the summer. So, so when it was bedtime, um, my mom, I said to my mom, could I sleep with, with, with my dog? And she said, sure. And, um, and I thought of a name for him. And I, and I asked my mom, could we name him Betty? She said, that's a perfect name. And, but we can call him Benye for his full name. So the next, so the next day, um, we went to the store. I went with my brother and my mom. And um, we got some food there. We got some snacks and chicken and we got some chocolate almond. As we were going home, I rolled down the window and my dog loved to look out the window and smell so many different smells he never smelled before because he hasn't been out very much because it's only 13 weeks. The, ne the next day, it was the first day of March and I went to school with my brother and um, it was a pretty big school and I liked school and my teacher, Mrs. Romero, and all the friends I made. So, so when we were at STEAM, um, we had art. And I did so many arts and crafts. I, did, I made one that was a cactus and it looked really mixed. So, it was, it was math and we did it at the beginning of the morning. Not beginning, beginning, but like when we got into the school, you know. Um, so I did lots of reading and lots of math. We did three tests. I got all A pluses on them. I thought I probably I was a really good mathematician. Probably I'll be the greatest of them all when I grow up. Then this, then the school bell rang, rang, and then it was all time to go home. And I was so excited because tomorrow, because tomorrow my teacher said we're gonna have a technology party because we got five hallway pods. Pause. 
We're, we're the Pine Ridge Panthers. That's why we have hallway paws. The next day, my dad said he I could come to work with him. So, so I went with him. I brought my lunchbox. It was amazing, but it was a long drive. I saw this big tower. Really cool. It's right there, the one that's closest up, not the one with the huge windows, the one with the tippy top. Really cool. That's where his work is. So cool, am I right? When I got when I got in there, I had I had a bunch of snacks. I love snacks. There was fruit tart and popsicles, lots of drinks. I took the Coca Cola, and it was so fun when we started work. I was wondering what we were building, and then my dad said we were building a new work. I wanted to look stylish, so I worked my back. I got a, I got a hammer and nails, and I got a drill stuff. And we were almost halfway done because I was working so fast. I really wanted to see what it looked like after. When I, when I got home from work, oh, I saw my little Frenchie, Benny, laying on my bed, so excited. She was like, "You're here, Isabel. I'm so excited." I was so happy. I was so happy too. I really missed him when I was at work. The next day, I went to school again. I learned a lot. I got all straight A's again. I was so happy. I was gonna be the smartest in my class soon. But this kid's so smart. He's smarter than me. I hope soon, when I grow up, I'll be smarter than him. Now you know all about how much I had fun in Utah, and why I got a French bulldog, cause it fits, cause it fits with me. And my name is Isabel Do, Isabel Joseph Do. I'm so glad you listened to my story. I hope I can make another one with you guys.